Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and there's a lie going around uh, the internet and mainstream media, as you can see, this is CNBC, that Scotland can power all of its homes twice using wind power alone. Now, this is just flat out lying, and I'm not going to stand for it. I'm not going to tolerate this. Wind turbines in Scotland generated 9,831,320 megawatt hours between January and June 2019. WWF Scotland said Monday. I'm assuming that's not World Wrestling Federation. Uh, numbers which were supplied by Weather Energy mean that Scottish wind generated enough electricity to power the equivalent of 4.47 million homes for six months. That is a lie. And I'm going to show you the how the numbers work out. Now the first thing we're going to do is convert this to uh, just plain megawatts. The time frame we're giving is for uh, six months. 181 days, and that works out to 4,344 uh, hours. Megawatt hours, the way they got that number is they multiplied some figure by that, that figure of uh, 4,344 hours, and they came up with us. So, we're going to, uh, Convert this back to megawatts. There's a number. The way we convert this is we divide this number. Four, three, four, four. Equals. Now notice you got two million. Uh, uh, 2,000, I'm sorry, 263.15, so on, uh, megawatts that were produced. Sounds like a lot, right? Well, it's not, actually. That's the first thing we're going to do. So we've done that. 2,263... Point one nine so on megawatts. Now, the second thing we're going to do is divide that by the actual number of homes. Here's the official records from Scotland. My figure is 2.58 million homes. This is not the numbers uh, that the other source used, by the way. This is real world numbers. Now, this number represents the average production of energy from these things at any one time. 2,263.19 megawatts of energy at any one time average, because wind doesn't always blow. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide this by 2.6 million homes. Now, follow, follow along with me. This is... Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, 2.58. Just be on the accurate side. Uh, so I get it right. Now, this number is the number of is megawatts evenly divided to all these homes. Follow me so far? 8.772 times 
transcends and minus fourth. Our final step is we're going to multiply this by a million. That way we turn this into watts. This is megawatts right here. Apply it to each home. All I've done is converted numbers here, folks. That's all I've done. If anybody cares to uh, differ with me, do so mathematically. So what we're going to do, multiply this by 1 million. And um, here is evenly distributed, this is the amount of watts in watts. That will be applied to, or allocated to any home at any one time. 877 watts. That's it. Uh, you couldn't even run your refrigerator on that. In other words, if this were all evenly distributed, you would only have 877 watts to work with at any one time. That's not enough to run your average toaster. See, we're billed in uh, kilowatt hours, generally, here in the United States. Don't know anything about Scotland, how they're billed, but kilowatt hours, you know, one kilowatt hour is a thousand watts used in an hour. And generally, a lot of homes can get away with it's really skimpy, you can probably get away with two kilowatt hours every hour. But the figures don't lie. Now, would they like to run through this again? And we're going to use the numbers supplied by the, what do you call it? I'm going to supply the numbers from the uh, 4.47 million homes. Okay, I saved you uh, going through all these calculations again. On average, a Scottish home, with all this evenly distributed, using the 4.47 figure, 4.47 million figure, that is supplied by CNBC, it works out to 506 watts per house. Like I said, that's not enough energy even to run a modern toaster. You wouldn't be able to run a refrigerator. <clears throat> it might be able, if you're lucky, to run a tiny light bulb or something. Sorry, folks. These are all real-world numbers. I can't go on. I can't indulge fantasy here. That's exactly what we have. These numbers are being supplied by the mainstream media and such. This is fantasy. The idea that we can power that many homes, 4.47 million homes, homes for six months on that is fantasy. Sorry. Numbers don't add up. Now, if you're going to challenge me, show me where I screwed up. If you're going to tell me I'm wrong, then show me where my calculations are wrong. But don't give me a ration of BS. Don't give me a ration of bullshit about, uh, Oh, uh, artifacts, this is so wonderful, we can power all these homes, and I can't. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> these are, this is purely a numbers game here, folks. That's it. These people are lying. Sorry if you don't like it, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for what it's worth.
I'm Artifacts of Mars, and approve of this message.